I'm Matthew Geller. Uh, I'm a sculptor and I do a lot of public art projects, among other things. The Culleton Park, I wanted an artist to be part of the design team to uh, integrate art into the park design. And uh, I was fortunate enough to be uh, selected. I was introduced to a neighbor who lives a few blocks away, who's sort of a, a community activist, a bit of force in the neighborhood. And a couple of times we just went through a walk through the neighborhood and she would introduce me. She seemed to know everybody <laughs> um, and explain what I was doing. And then I'd sort of ask a few questions about the park. Public space is the foundation of community. So the kind of work I make, um, I'm trying to foster that interaction between acquaintances or strangers. For example, the uh, elliptical bench is round. So when you sit there, you're sort of forced to look at other people, um, unlike the traditional park bench, which is straight. Um, and you can only really talk to the person on the right or left of you. The communal picnic tables are really long. Um, so two or three families could share the same picnic table. Um, and if they do that, you know, maybe they have some interaction. At the very least, they're, you know, sharing this communal space. The domino tables, are, you know, again, uh, dominoes is very popular in the neighborhood, so it seemed like it would be a good place to uh, play dominoes. Fences usually tend to be very symmetrical, very orderly. Um, so I thought it would be nice to not be symmetrical and not be orderly. I sort of described the project to the fabricators and to the community, you know, imagine if you ran around Lancaster and you stole one picket from every fence and that's how you made this fence. Um, you know, I couldn't make every decision. You know, I could conceptually, you know, talk about the fact that there were no repeating patterns, as many possible different pickets as possible. So the fabricators who made it, you know, definitely got the idea. You know, there are things sort of they're little objects, um, tools mostly, or machine parts that are just sort of stuck in there. Um, I wanted to do something that would appeal to kids and appeal to adults. Um, I thought rather than using lots of colors, if it was just one color, the negative spaces would play out more and the colors in the park would play out in those negative spaces. I wanted it to look very different when you're up close to, versus when you're very far away and give people a lot to look at. I'm excited to see it in action.